Good morning, guys. Today is a very special day for me because I have completed the project I've been working on for the last few months, Big Red the Bus. So got it all complete, ready to roll. Clients are on their way to pick it up. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough and just show you what we've been up to. Um, and as a reminder, this is for a lady uh, that uses a walker. And so uh, we'll be keeping the wheelchair or the wheelchair lift. She'll be using the lift to get in and out. And then everything I built inside the bus had to be custom uh, because it had to be a certain height for her. And then also the, fl the floor had to be a certain width so that her walker can make it down the floor. So when we go through the tour, um, just keep that in mind. It, it might not look, things might look strange to you and you might wonder why is this, why that? Well, it's because there's a very specific set of guidelines I had to follow. So with that being said, let's go check out this handicap accessible school bus. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a little shot of the outside first, just so you can see what we're working with. Uh, pretty good looking bus, if you ask me. We got two 300 watt solar panels on the top, bringing in 600 watts of solar. Uh, Max Air fan also cut into the top. We'll go ahead and, and hop up here. Uh, first thing, I, up front I did add a backup camera. So right here there's a seven inch color screen, so when you're backing up now you can see everything behind you. And then we'll just kind of do a little pan here so you guys can see everything, everything going on. So we went with a full, not a full size, but a 120 fridge. And it's, uh, it's, it's larger than most of the 12 volt fridges. They wanted something with a dedicated freezer. So freezer on top, fridge on the bottom. And this is a winter brand fridge, which is cool because winter makes some really good quality appliances and they make a lot of really good quality 12 volt appliances. So this is the 110 model, but I expect uh, quality out of it. I did get it from homedepot.com. So they have the winter fridge. Uh, and then kind of moving over, this is obviously the kitchen area. Did a live edge uh, wooden slab countertop. And then also the same over here, also live edge uh, with an epoxy coating. So really nice, pretty wood that's very durable. Um, going on the back, we got the charge controller. We got uh, lots, of, they wanted lots of ports. So we got a cigarette port here and we got a double USB port over here. And then here's your 110 outlet. Here's your on off for the inverter. Boop. So that kicks on your 110. And then over here is your light switch. Boom. And then over here is your water pump, another dual USB. So lots of power options in the back. And then we got shelving here, 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 here. And also up top, storage areas. Uh, tankless water heater. I went with the Easy Tankless 101. Uh, this also came from Home Depot. I researched water heaters quite a bit. And I went with this one because all the controls are right up front. And it has um, not only a, a t flame setting and a te water temperature setting, but it also has a summer and winter uh, burner setting. So what that means is um, basically the winter setting is full burners and then the summer setting is like three quarter burners. So it's a quick way to just again adjust the output and really dial it in precisely. And then once you set it here, that's it. You don't have to mess with it in the shower or at the sink. You just set it there and then every time it'll put out that same temperature water for you. Uh, this is a Rivati sink. This is the 15 by 15. You can get these on Amazon. They're very nice because they have a, a really nice cutting board on top. And then it's got a strainer basket and everything is a very high quality stainless steel. Strainer basket and then there's a, a little drying rack. And then also um, little uh, a basket as well, a little strainer basket. So very well thought out, very high quality. Uh, it's a very thick gauge stainless compared to some of the other sinks that I've installed in the past. So I really like these Rabati sinks. Definitely recommend them. And uh, yeah, big swoop nozzle. It's got the sprayer on it. So for cleaning stuff out, that'll work really nice. Go ahead and drop that back in. Uh, we got some storage here under there also under here there's a little bit of storage also the sink drain and some other sink stuff in the back and then these two drawers um, I ended up going with a locking latch on them so you can drop that down and then they slide open and that's you know just your typical kitchen type drawer right there and then the locks those are pretty 
pretty important to keep things from coming open while you're driving down the road. So I use the same latch system throughout the bus. So those are pretty cool. Another thing I liked a lot is these little knobs, uh, kind of a pretty like a robin's egg blue. And so we use this nice hardware and it feels like almost a porcelain. Uh, it's got a really nice feel to it. So whenever you grab for a door, um, you know, it's got a nice secure feeling. And then down here, some of the electrical, that's the fuse holder. So uh, you can hop down and take a look at what's going on. The batteries are back there. There's two, uh, two 200 amp hour AGM batteries uh, behind that. Um, one of the most important features of the bus is the bathroom, the shower stall. They wanted a full size shower and so they got a full size shower. So this is a traditional, you know, residential shower pan, uh, again, from Home Depot. It's like, I think it's five feet long and then 30 inches or 36 inches wide. I don't remember which, but full size shower pan. It's the low clearance. Um, so you don't have to step up too tall to get in for the, the lady that owns the bus. She has a little difficulty stepping up. So, uh, it's the low clearance shower pan. I did mention to them too, though, that, you know, because of how low clearance that is, you're going to have to be level to take a shower. Um, to make sure everything's draining properly, you really got to make sure the rig is level. So anyway, uh, shower, uh, composting toilet right here. And that one goes, hose goes to the side and vents outside. Put in a grab bar for her, really solid. This is all, the whole frame of the shower is three quarter ply and two by four framing. So this whole shower is super rigid. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. And the grab bar is, is uh, leg bolted into two by four studs. So that's really solid, good pull up bar. And then what we did is they wanted a, to have a dual shower option. So this shower, this is the, uh, just a regular shower head. And then I put this on off on it because you know, you're going to be doing military style showers and trying to, you know, conserve water. So, uh, basically you just flip that lever and it opens up and when the water pumps on the water comes out the water heater fires up and almost instantly it's hot and then you just turn it you know 90 degrees and then it's off so it's really easy to control the water flow from inside the shower and so there's one latch up here so you can stand in it and just use it like a traditional shower but then also we added the second one right down here um, like that so that way you can sit on the toilet right and then you got your shower so you can easily just kind of sit down just kind of hang out maybe use the bathroom maybe shower off I don't know <laughs> whatever you got to do but uh, actually I kind of dig it I kind of like the sit down shower so that was a nice little touch um, also I left these back windows in because when you're these people are going to be mostly boondocking you know down in the desert in Arizona so you know, when you're out there and it's 90 degrees and you got to shower off, um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to be able to crack the windows open and kind of get some breeze coming in. And then also, um, there's a max fan up here so they can kick on the max fan and that'll get a nice cross draft go going, you know, coming in the window, swoop up the condensation, push it out the top. And then we also, I left the emergency exit so they can also pop that up. So there'll be plenty of airflow for the shower. And I got to say, I really do. This is a really cool shower. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I really like how it turned out really nice. So anyway, full size shower and then kind of moving on over. So this is the wheelchair ramp. Um, but what we have going on here is she wanted a desk that she could sit at, do some computer work, probably eat. So, you know, we were pretty tight on space, but I, what I did is, uh, shut this up. Okay, so this is the wheelchair ramp. So what I did is I got this plywood, cut it into three pieces, used a piano hinge and a little latch to hold it. So when this thing folds forward and goes all the way to the down, down to the ground, you can just walk on it. You know, you could use a wheelchair if you wanted and you can use the lift regularly. But once you're inside the rig and the lift is up, this is the stored position. So instead of this just being lost space, I have this, you know, flip down flip down desk so um, she'll have to get a little chair or something but basically uh, she'll be able to pull up to the desk use her computer eat and the cool thing too is with uh, you can open those doors and then when you're sitting down you know you're gonna see right through uh, 
right through to the outside. So you're going to get kind of a nice view of what's going on out there. So I thought that was pretty kind of a cool little feature. And then I just used this chain from Home Depot to kind of uh, secure it. So it's like a little suspension desk. So definitely you won't want to sit on it or like, you know, you don't want, don't want to push on it when you're getting up probably, but I think it'll, it'll hold a pretty good amount of weight. So it shouldn't be an issue. Um, so nice little working desk here. And then over here, this is a custom dog crate that I made for their dog. They have a, I think like a German shepherd type dog. And so they wanted somewhere for the dog to, you know, live. And then also while they're driving to be able to lock it up. So, uh, you know, this opens up, right. Dog can go in and out. And I think they'll probably have a little bed for it. And then that just latches closed like that made out of two by fours. So again, real solid piece there, more live edge countertop. Uh, right here, we have a couple more USB outlets. Um, so that, uh, you know, you charge your phone, charge your iPad, whatever you want to do there. Uh, Wave 8 propane heater. And then over here, a little, uh, little storage closet. And again, uh, we got the kind of the cool porcelain hardware and then a little lock to keep it from opening up while you're driving. And uh, we got a little USB fan up here. And this guy, uh, this is cool because it has a built-in battery and then all, and it's got three speeds, but also uh, it has a little USB cable. So you would just plug the USB cable in right here and it's long enough to reach and then it can recharge the battery. We'll go ahead and kick it on here. Let's see. There we go. So I know you guys can't feel it, but it puts out pretty good amount of air and that's just... Uh, there's like three speeds. So you can probably hear that. That's like high, high speed. But anyway, pretty nice little fan. So that'll help move when the heater's on. Uh, we couldn't put the heater down low because she needs to be able to access the controls that are right here. So the heater's up high, but this fan puts out quite a bit of air. So this should help circulate, um, circulate the heat throughout the bus. And also just, you know, if it's hot, uh, the fan will help cool things down. In fact, you can sit in the chair right here and you can feel the fan. So that's actually, it's a really nice fan. You wouldn't think it would do that. It would really, you know, move that much air, but it does. And that was just like 24 bucks on Amazon. So pretty nice little deal, a uh, little adjustable little mini fan. So anyway, uh, moving into the back, what we did here is uh, she's got a power recliner. So that was kind of a big thing. Um, you know, it has a full size bed over here. And what this is, is uh, the bed has uh, a, a portion here. So this is like her, her day sitting position. And I think she sleeps in the chair a lot. So she'll probably mostly be sleeping in here, but you can take the chair and just slide it forward and turn it. And then the bottom part of the bed folds up. And then this cushion here goes down at the end. So then there's three cushions and it's a full size bed. I didn't cut the mattress. So it's like, you know, six and a half feet long and like four and a half feet wide. So it'll sleep two people comfortably. Um, but in the meantime, you know, you can kind of use it almost like a day bed. Um, got this little shelf here, magnet that up, but you know, so you can just hop here and I'm like, I'm like five foot, five ten, And when I sit up, you know, my feet don't even go to the end. So, you know, you could even just sit here to relax or maybe take a little nap here or whatever. But anyway, so you got two sleeping options. You got the bed and you got the recliner. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's a power recliner. So we'll check it out. Let's see. Oops. Whoa. Yeah, buddy. Take me all the way back. Uh. <laughs> so I'll hop up and show you guys what that looks like. So there it is with the recliner all the way back. So it fully stretches out. Uh, you can kick your feet out, kick your head back, easily nap right there. And uh, I got to admit, it's pretty cool. I've never seen a recliner. Uh, in a converted bus before. So that's pretty pretty slick that we were able to squeeze that in. And then the other cool thing about it too, you know, is just the location of it. You're kind of in the back of the bus. 
you can see everything but then when you're looking over here you know right now it's just a shop but when you're out you know out on BLM land or whatever you'll be able to just look over look out the window watch the cactus grow <laughs> so it's actually a really cool uh, little viewpoint so I like the chair I'm glad she went with the chair it's pretty cool I think she's gonna enjoy it so we got that uh, we got a little storage cabinet up top a uh, little closet rod you can hang some stuff AC the air conditioner uh, does work they had everything recharged um, I went ahead and painted the cover because it was like an ugly yellow it had just yellowed over time you know they kind of get they get old and the white fades so anyway I repainted it so it's a nice uh, clean white and it matches all the other white in here and over here this is the fold up um, the fold up kind of little desk area there so if you're sitting in bed or sleeping you can put your phone up there oh also she has a CPAP machine so she'll put her CPAP there and uh, plug it in right there and then she can sleep either in the chair or in the bed so that's also a CPAP um, but anyway besides that we also added uh, it's got a little a little switch here for the fan and that's for the um, that's for the fan in the toilet so the toilet has an exhaust fan so that's what this is but I put a switch on it because otherwise it just runs all the time uh, which is what you want except if you're not going to be using the vehicle you know if you're going to be parking for a while or something um, it's nice to be able to just kill all the power so we got that and then down here is a little double USB charger as well so she can charge whatever devices that she's got right there so that's that under the bed is the water pump uh, the accumulator tank and then a 40 I think 46 gallon freshwater tank and then the gray water tank is under the shower here under the bus and so then additionally I made this little drawer a uh, little slide out drawer so it's pretty nice it's like 41 inches deep so you can fit quite a bit of clothes or blankets or whatever you want you know fit it in the drawer and then that's also got a little latch that just keeps it from you know rolling forward while you're driving so a little under bed storage there and uh yeah that kind of that's pretty much it there's not a lot of uh different like storage spaces in here everything everything we put in was kind of big the recliner the bed the dog crate <laughs> we kind of used up a lot of space but man i tried to maximize every all the all the room that i had i think we did pretty good one other thing I'll show you is these light fixtures. So this bus came with uh, like old fluorescent tube light fixtures and they're really ugly. And this was the original location for them. Um, but what I did is I, I disconnected them and I got these LED fixtures. What's cool about these is, you know, you can turn them off and then you can turn on just one or you can turn on both and they all do that. So that way, you know, depending on what you're doing, like if you're, you know just want one light on for reading at night you can turn off all the other lights or you know however you want to set it up and then there's a master switch right here so let's see here's the 110 turn that off but here's the light switch so you know you just kill that or on and then you just easily turn everything on or off so boom that's it so that's it guys that's a tour of big red uh, it's been quite a bit of work, but I, I'm happy with how it turned out and more importantly I think it has all the features all the main features she was looking for to be comfortable uh, The recliner I think is a huge one having a full-size shower is pretty awesome pretty rare Especially for as small of a bus as this is I feel like we packed a lot in the small space. So That's it. What do you guys think? Let me know. I hope I I uh, sparked your interest and maybe gave you guys some ideas for your build and uh, yeah, so let me know what you think and uh, leave a comment and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Nomad Brad signing out.